Really, the slogan here could be so good, it'll make you forget that we just killed that frog you were holding in your hand. Frogs. On the scale of weird food, they're probably a two out of 10. So why don't Westerners eat them? It's probably because, uh, yeah. why don't you eat frog? Um, Do you eat frog in Finland? No. Nope. What country are you from? I'm French. So why is France one of those standout countries that eats frog legs? Why do you think that is? Do you know? I really don't know idea. In fact, no. I just discovered that we can buy a frog here, but I didn't know that before. The market. Yeah, the market. It's still open, and we're looking for frogs. Um, do you think they're in here? Well, hi there. So usually they only sell frogs in the morning, okay. All right, I've got a hot tip from Ju uh, my momentary market guide. She says they usually only sell frogs in the morning. Uh, we're at the Hoi An Market now, and she's asking you around, there's no more frogs. Tomorrow morning, come back here. Whoa, lady, we're doing a frog episode, lady. So frogs are a pretty hot item, because there's plenty of fish heads left. Why are there so many fish heads, but there's no frogs? Uh, frog is quite rare, because Few families here, they they raise the, the frog. So people actually have some frog farms here. Yeah, and sometimes they, they catch the frogs from the paddy fields because uh, the meat of the frog from the paddy fields tastes better. Sadly, these days we're completely disconnected from our food, but how can we truly appreciate a steak if we've never gone face to face and shot a cat? <sighs> the point is, Today we're gonna go catch some frogs. I hear frogs, I hear frogs way out there. There's some guys over here with the flashlight, we're gonna find out what's going on. So maybe they're also looking for frogs? Xin chao. Oh my God, there's a cow. <laughs> Yo, you gotta be careful at night, man. There's cows out here. This is like some serious ish. Hello? Don't step in that. That's some serious ish down there too. There's no frogs? Uh, yeah, like that. Okay. All right, look, um, this guy has a bad attitude about frogs and maybe some factual knowledge that I don't like because I want to catch frogs tonight. So thank you, come on. But, but really, we're going to find the real frog situation, okay? What is the best way to catch a frog? Do I use a net? Do I use a small gun? What do I use? Mm, your hands. Oh. <laughs> hey, Shh. dog whisperer. <laughs> Shh. 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 Ah, it's not working. Dude, yo, check it out, maybe. I can reach over and grab it. It's too, oh. Why do Vietnamese people eat frog? It tastes good. Some people say frogs, frog meat is, is somehow like a, a medicine. But of course, it could never just be like a good food. Does anyone say that chicken is a medicine? No, no one say that. No, see, it's any of the mainstream foods, no one says it has medicinal properties, but when we get into the frog territory, it's like... Yeah, sometimes people think the thing that is rare is really good for your health, and right. it's like medicine. Whoa! <coughs> Geese make the most terrifying freaking sound, especially at night. It sounds like an old screen door. All right, we're gonna leave you alone, you little freak. They're all just hanging out and chewing. Now, I'm curious why you're not gigantic like American cows. Have they not stuffed a bunch of uh, chemicals in you yet? We've spotted a big animal. I don't actually have anything to put it in because I didn't think we would get this far. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a stick behind it and make it jump my way. This, like this, boosh! And then I'm gonna grab it. Ah! Oh, 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 yeah! Hey, who is a badass hunter, huh? Oh, no! No! No, no, no! This frog is so chill. Oh, God! No! Don't get away! No! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh. There are some kind of frogs that you cannot eat because there's poison in, inside that frog. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, I'll take a risk and we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna screw this up again. Oh my god, it, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, what is that sound? It's making a sound. It's trying to, oh my god, it has kids and it's a widow. Okay, you know what? Oh, I feel bad. Okay, no, I, I can't eat you. I can't, go, go away, take care of your kids. 
In the USA, frog is considered more of an apocalypse scenario type cuisine, but in Vietnam, it's a tasty treat good for any time of the day. <gasps> oh, oh my God, they're alive. Oh my God, they're so slimy. Um, wow, that is a big frog. Okay, I had no idea these were gonna be alive. I thought they were gonna pull from like Gary's restaurant supply, some box from the freezer with a bunch of big frogs in it. Uh, no, they just brought actual frogs. This is gnarly. Okay, this is already much more than, oh, I'm, it's so adorable. I feel so bad and hungry. Oh, oh God, the scissors, the scissors is coming out. Oh, okay, guys, come back up here, come back up here. What he's doing right now is, um, I think one of them needed a haircut, so he got the scissors out, but um, they're, they're fine. Hi. Welcome to the show. Today, we're trying to make a video here. When I was in Cambodia, I had a little bit of frog, little frog morsels, really tiny nuggets of frog. Though it was good, I was disappointed that I didn't have a full frog experience. And then actually today, I got a little bit more than I bargained for. So, where where are the frogs right now? Wow. They have kind of a dungeon of frogs here. Jeez. I didn't expect them to be this big. I thought they would be tiny frogs. Certainly much better than the ones I caught or didn't catch. I don't know, we didn't shoot that part yet. Apparently nearby here, there's a frog farm. Someone's growing frogs and, uh, and that's where they buy it from. So when you order this, it's really as fresh as it can be. Now, before you say it's cruel, how many of you have gotten lobster and even pointed and go, I want this mother effer right here. Well, I didn't even, I didn't choose my frog, okay? And, uh, I felt bad. I feel, I feel bad because I, because they killed the frogs in front of us. But I, beyond feeling sad, even more powerfully, I feel um, a sense of hunger. So we've got fried frog, sautéed frog, sautéed with lemongrass, and grilled frog. This is crispy fried frog. Oh, what body part is this? Maybe the neck, maybe the thorax. Now that is a big moist, sensual piece of frog right there. Expertly cooked. A lot of people say frog tastes like chicken, but it's not quite accurate. It's actually more of a cross between chicken and fish. It has a bit of a fishy, it's not quite slimy, but it's as if like you had a super moist chicken. Uh, that was super flaky. So it's between like a firm fish and a super moist, flaky chicken. Chicken doesn't flake though, does it? Anyways, you get the point. If you fed this to your kid instead of chicken McNuggets, they would have no idea. Uh, they would be none the wiser. The second most appetizing looking preparation. This is the sauteed in lemongrass and other uh, herbs and spices. Frog, oof. That is just skin right there. Do people eat the skin? Do you eat the skin, Yang? All right, people eat the skin, so I'm gonna eat the skin. Oh, oh the skin, it's good. It's a little fatty, it's not that unusual. Really, the slogan here could be so good, it'll make you forget that we just killed that frog you were holding in your hand. Amphibious skin. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be uh, on a Applebee's appetizer menu anytime soon. This last preparation is perhaps the most disconcerting. It is the grilled frog that's like basically fully intact. They cut off the heads and the feet, but I mean, they just threw it on a grill. That's it. This wouldn't be my usual preparation. I would usually go fried or sauteed, but we're gonna try out the grilled bit. Wow. Dang. That's really good too. Mm. Hold on. I got frogs stuck in my retainer. It doesn't have a strong flavor. I'm not even sure that they seasoned it. I think it's just seasoned with nature right now. It's just like a firm fish. It's very moist, clean tasting. It's, it's so good, how could this be? You look at a frog, you don't think, oh, that looks tasty. There's not much more to say. Frog is the perfect introduction to adventure eating. If you're really trying to test your palate out, try something a little more challenging, but it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't taste weird, and maybe just visually it might be a little odd to you. Close your eyes, try a piece of it. It's gonna be outstanding, 
and you're going to thank me for it. And then for the rest of your life, when you're back home in your cubicle, and people are like, what's the craziest thing you ever ate? Oh, well, this one time I was in Vietnam, and I ate a frog. All right? And that's my gift to you guys. Next time you're in Vietnam, next time you are in a place that serves frog, just do it. Go for it.